So compression comes in several different classes, and there's actually not a standard in the United States. In Europe, they have like a firm rule that they have to stand by as far as compression classes. In general, though, you're going to see like a class one, two, and three. And compression is measured in the amount of pressure that it puts on your body in what's called millimeters of mercury. So a class one is like mild, class two is moderate, and class three is firm. So the class ones are 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury, and these this is mild. It's used for prevention or early stages of lipedema. Or um, we're seeing a lot of new uh, fabrics that are class one compression, but they've got micro massaging sort of texture added into it um, so that that gives sort of a gentle massage as you're wearing the class one compression. That's my preferred level um, just because I am like not a great compliant person when I'm wearing any higher level of compression. Um, then there's class two, which is 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury, and that's considered moderate compression. So this is recommended for management of known lipedema. You're like a stage one, two, maybe even a three, and um, you're trying to just keep it under control. And then class three compression is 30 to 40 millimeters of mercury. And that is what's like firm compression. It's used for severe cases when you need additional support or when you've developed lymphedema and you, um, you can withstand that level of compression as well. So th those are the classes. And then compression generally comes in two different kinds of fabric. So there's flat knit and circular knit. So flat knit is um, knitted in a rectangular shape. It's like a piece of flat fabric, right? That gets sewn together. And you can always tell somebody who's wearing flat knit compression because we're gonna have seams on the insides of our legs or the back of our legs. And then as we get into different spots, you'll see more and more seams. So the seams on my compression is flat knit and I've seams up the middle. And then when it gets to the rear end, there are two seams on the side. And so that's just kind of telltale that I'm wearing flat knit. Um, but flat knit is constructed in a way where it's really, really helpful for customizing the garment. So let's say that you have a lobule someplace and you need extra pressure in that area, they can sew more fabric in that spot to be able to accommodate something that's not like perfectly symmetrical or whatever. They can really, really customize the fit, right? Um, so the flat knit can accommodate asymmetry in your body. And that is really good when you've got a complex presentation of lipedema or you've developed lymphedema, right? Um, circular knit are more like a traditional sock. They are knitted in a tubular shape and it's a smooth, seamless kind of fabric. Think about like pantyhose, right? So that's going to give you a pretty consistent gradient. They can still do great, you know, graduated compression where it's tighter at the bottom and looser at the top. Um, they're really, really good because they tend to be easier to put on and take off if they fit properly. And that fabric can be really breathable and tends to be more comfortable in general. Um, ultimately, though, the choice between what kind of fabric you need depends on your particular situation or honestly, your tolerance for the heat level that comes um, with those garments, right? Um, so for me, like I cannot, I'm just a hot person. <laughs> excuse me, I can't handle super, super hot things or things that cut me off or whatever. So um, I go with that flat knit because that's what works for my body, right? And I'll be compliant when I wear those types of fabrics. Um, so the choice is all dependent on your needs, your body shape, and then your personal preferences, right? Um, some people like me benefit from a combination as well. So a lot of times when I travel, I talked about the wraps, but if I'm really going on long trips, then what I'll do is I'll put a pair of circular knit compression knee highs underneath my full body length or my full up to the waist length um, flat knit so that I can get um, really, really good strong compression and avoid some problems from swelling from just like being on 10 hour flights and stuff like that. So where do you buy compression? Um, so I will tell you, I get mine from Amazon. Um, I, that's what I do. <laughs> it's totally available, um, custom fit. You can go to your lymphedema therapist, your CLT, 
and they probably have some kind of a relationship with a fitter with, and they may even have a preference of certain companies. And there are all kinds of companies that make compression in all kinds of fabrics, all kinds of colors, all kinds of sizes or custom fit, right? So if you don't know where to go and you're kind of freaked out by the whole concept of buying compression on your own, go to your lymphedema therapist. Even if you're not a regular, make an appointment, have them do an assessment and help make a referral to you to a fitter and they can help you get in. And then that fitter can make recommendations for you based on like what your preferences are and what is going on with your particular body, right? Um, another website that I go to though is called lymphedemaproducts.com. And they have um, not only the compression garments, but they have wraps and braces and bandage kits and all kinds of stuff too, that it's kind of consolidated into one place and pretty good reviews um, that you can read and learn a little bit more about those different items. And um, what I, one thing I like about that website is they are pretty good about giving the measurements of the garments and the wraps. So you can get a good idea as to whether they're gonna fit or not. Okay, so we talked about custom compression. Um, if you have a like a complex case, you have a lobule, you have an irregularity, you're not symmetrical, go for that custom fitted compression garment. And um, they're typically prescribed by your doctor. A lot of times insurance will cover it, especially if you have lymphedema and especially if you have Medicare, right? And that lymphedema treatment act can help you get those because they can be really, really pricey, like up to $800 a pair. Um, so, so that's what I wanted to share with you about compression. So let's go back over the key points. Um, one is that um, compression can help you reduce pain and swelling. It can help you improve your lymphatic drainage. It can help prevent disease progression. Um, you definitely need to talk to your doctor before just jumping in on compression on your own. You can get compression stockings, compression pants, compression um, wraps and bandages and arm sleeves and all kinds of stuff. And um, there are different classes of compression. There's one, two, and three, and it gets um, from, goes from mild to moderate to firm, depending on what your situation is. There is flat and circular knit, which each have their own different uses and purposes. And you can buy compression online, or you can go through a therapist or a fitter to help you get it. Um, one of the things I want to talk about before I wrap up, though, is the use of uh, sport compression. And I'm just going to say, if you have a condition like lipedema or lymphedema, I don't recommend it. It's probably not classed. It's probably not firm enough. It's probably not gradient, which is what you really need if you have these conditions that affect especially the legs, right? So if you have a medical condition, you need to be getting medical graded compression to help you with your condition. What you don't want to do is go around wearing some, I'm just going to say it, old Navy compression, um, thinking that you're doing your body good and all of a sudden your disease has progressed and you thought you were doing the right thing. Like go for the medical grade compression, even if you get it on Amazon, right? All right, so my last thought about compression is this, and I'm a perfect example of it. Um, Dr. Emily Eicher, who I really respect, she's been in the lymphedema and lipedema community for ages now, right? She says this, and I quote her all the time, the best, the best compression is the compression that you'll actually wear. So consistency is absolutely key to keep your swelling at bay. So pick garments that you're gonna wear. They need to be relatively comfortable, they need to be breathable, and they need to be easy enough to put on and take off to where you'll do it every single day. Otherwise, buying the most expensive, the highest class compression is not gonna do you any good if you don't wear it. So the best compression is the compression you will actually wear every single day. All right, I hope this helps somebody. Just one more person, that's always my goal, right? Just one more person. If you need more information about compression or different therapies, be sure and check out the Lipedema Foundation's website. We know everything they put on their website is absolutely research-based and you can trust what they say. You can also check me out at legslikemine.com and of course, look for any of my books, including Aqua Therapy for Lipedema and Lymphedema on Amazon. All right, take care and thanks for listening. Bye everybody.